Hey guys, and welcome back to another video from The G Life. It is Tiffany here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a pregnancy update on baby number two. If you haven't watched my last video, you should definitely go check that one out first because there is some very important information in that video that will get you caught up to this video. So today, I'm going for my appointment and... And my, I'll just give you the short little rundown of my last video. Um, I went to my 10-week appointment and everything looked good. And a week later, I started um, bleeding again. And I had to go to the ER and I had gotten diagnosed with a subchorionic hemorrhage. I'll put it on the screen so you can look it up if you want to. And so I'm really praying for good news today at my appointment. So that's where I'm headed right now and I will get you up to date when we get there. See you guys there. So I just got to my um, appointment and I'm 20 minutes early, wait, no, 10 minutes early. So I'm just going to head in now and sign in and I'm praying for good news. Like I just, I cannot get any more bad news. So pray for me guys and I will update you guys as soon as I can. So I'm going to talk kind of quiet because I don't really want anybody to hear me, but I'm just waiting in my room. And I didn't get an ultrasound yet, but we'll see what the doctor has to say. Alright guys, so I just got back from my appointment and I got really good news and really good news that like I can stop stressing. He used the fetal Doppler and found the heartbeat. It took him a while to actually find it and I was getting nervous. But he finally found it and I started hearing it and it was... It stayed in the 150 to 160 range, so that's about average. It's been pretty high, like when I was in the hospital, it was 187, and then my appointment before that, it was 178, and my other son, um, his was never that high. It usually stayed in the 150s to 160s, so that kind of was, that kind of threw me off, but maybe it's a girl this time since it was really high, um, the first couple appointments, maybe. So, I think I'm going to go inside um, now, and I have the what to expect when you're expecting pregnancy book, and it lists, like, all of the things that you might feel physically this month, and I'm going to read over them and, um, like, tell you guys if I have that symptom or if I don't, and it's basically for, like, my memories to look back on, but I also want to inform you guys and stuff like that, so... We're, that's going to be the next portion of this video. I also have the what to expect uh, when you're expecting app on my phone. And I'm just going to read over like some of the things um, about me this week. So I am currently... Um, I am currently week 14 of my pregnancy. And it says... Um, the 80s and 90s nostalgia. My pregnancy is as big as a bubblegum tape dispenser thing. I don't know if you guys remember what those are, but if you do, then you're a 98 to 2000s baby like me. But, um, the fruit part, we are as big as a navel orange. I don't know if that's just like a regular orange or what, like, what is a navel orange? <laughs> is that just the name of it? I don't know. And then, oh, movie and TV props. My pregnancy is as big as a baseball from the sandlot. Okay, those are pretty interesting facts. There are also um, three baby science little things. The first one is that my baby can now grimace and smile. The next one, it says it's a boy or girl. And it says, this week, um, there's fully developed parts, and they make their grand entrance, uh, note, however, they still may be hard to detect on ultrasound. Peach fuzz. It's all about hair now. As your baby sprouts some on her head, 
eyebrows and body. So little baby is getting some peach fuzz. Okay, so now I'm going to answer yes or no if I have this symptom or what for this month. So um, I'm going to do that and then I also wanted to tell you guys that I never filmed this early on in Keegan's pregnancy for the update videos. I think they started at like 19 weeks so I don't really know what to talk about because there's not much information so I'm just gonna do this really quick okay the first one is fatigue yes I am very tired um ever since I found out I was pregnant I was tired and same with Keegan's pregnancy I was very tired decreasing urinary frequency no I still use the bathroom um up and down all day and all night um, an end to or a decrease in nausea or vomiting, uh, basically morning sickness. Um, no, I have never had morning sickness, even with Keegan's pregnancy, nor this one, no morning sickness. Um, constipation, not really. Heartburn, indigestion, flatulence, bloating. Heart, um, heartburn, yes. Some indigestion and bloating, yes. Um, okay, continued breast enlargement, yes, but usually decreased tenderness, um, nobody's work. Occasional headaches, yes, occasional lightheadedness or dizziness, particularly with sudden change, or change of position, um, lightheadedness, yes, nasal congestion and occasional nosebleeds, ear stuffiness, no. No nosebleeds or ear stuffiness. Sensitive gums that may bleed when you brush. They don't bleed when I brush, but they are sensitive. Increased appetite, yes. Mild swelling of ankles and feet and occasionally of hands and face. Um, I don't think so, not yet. But towards the end of my last pregnancy, they got really big. My, oh, I just read that one. Varicose veins or legs or vulva, no. Hemorrhoids, no. Slight increase in discharge, in no. Fetal movement near the end of the month, but usually not this early unless this is your second or subsequent pregnancy. I have felt flutters. I don't know if that was movement, but I did feel flutters um, last week, so... Okay, I think that was all physically. I'm not going to do it emotionally, but if you guys want me to in the next video, you can comment below. Um, if you want me to do the emotionally part of this book, I will. I also forgot to say that I am 14 weeks on the dot um, today, Monday, December 7th, and I have begun my second trimester. So, I've been through the first trimester completely now the second trimester let's go all right guys i think that's gonna wrap up this update video and i think my next video we're gonna try the um bacon soda and um pee test i didn't do this with keegan's pregnancy but i've heard that it's 80 percent accurate on if you're gonna have a boy or a girl and I think I just really want to try it for fun. So we'll see what result I get. And I'm going to film it for you guys so you can see. And then later on we'll see if the test was true or if it's just not so accurate. Alright, thanks for watching guys. And make sure to subscribe to follow this journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.